You want to know what workout splits mean or split workouts as it's called. You're in the right place because in this video, I'll show you exactly how you can work out like a pro even if you are a beginner. It's not as complicated as it seems. I'm fitness freak. I create content around fitness, lifestyle and everything in between. So split workout routine in simple terms just means you split in different muscle groups so you can work them out on different days. So this system of planning out your workout routine is mainly for people who are used to working out but you just want kind of like more definition and more tone to your muscles. So when you hear me saying muscle groups, muscle groups, muscle groups, you'll be like, what, what the heck is muscle groups? What are you talking about? So muscle groups basically mean muscles of these six categories I'm going to list out here. Muscles of the chest, muscles of the back, shoulders, legs, arms, and abdominals. So these are the six major muscle groups that you need to be focused on as a beginner just take this as what you need to know but for a more advanced workout enthusiast you might want to break each of these muscle groups into subcategories for instance muscles of the arms can be broken down into triceps biceps and forearms muscles of the legs can be further broken down into quadriceps hamstrings and cows i wouldn't even worry myself with that because i'm just fine with thinking of working out muscle groups like chest shoulders arms back legs abdominal muscles when it comes to creating your workout splits there are mainly two types of splits two day splits and a three day split sometimes you might come across four day splits six day split splits let's start from two to three day splits for now you want to pair muscle groups that are close together so first of all let's look at the beginner two day split example so for this beginner level you will see that you can decide that your two day splits would be something would look something like this right on day one you would want to work out your chest your arms and your shoulders and on day two you would want to work out your legs your back and abdominals this is a sample two day split workout for beginners now let's look at a three day split workout still for beginners you might now decide that you want to break it down even further so for your three day split day one you would work out your chest and shoulders and then for day two, you would focus mainly on your legs. Yay! Next, for day three, you would want to work out your back, abdominals, and arms. So this is a three-day split workout for beginners. Right. Now, let's now take a look <laughs> at advanced lifters. You know, the people who have gone above and beyond in their weight training journey this is what it will look like day one they might want to work out their chest shoulders triceps forearms day two it might look like calves hamstrings quadriceps and glutes and day three it could be biceps back abdominals traps and lats now don't worry yourself too much about advanced lifters if you're in beginner level so the purpose of these splits are that it balances all the different muscle groups and gives them enough time to rest you won't get to work this same set of muscle groups until the next week so that now gives your muscles so much more time to rest and recover I'm not just going to give you all these muscle groups and split samples without giving you the exact exercises that specifically work the different set of muscle groups. I mean, like, how mean? How mean would I be, right? So let's take a look at this, okay? So these are exercises that target specific muscle groups. I broke them down here as chest, back, arms, legs, shoulders, abdominals. And then exercises on that chest bench press push-ups dumbbell chest press dumbbell flies under the back you have other exercises you have exercises for arms you have exercises for legs you have exercises for shoulders and then 
you also have under abdominals things like elbow plank bicycle crunches leg raises and inclined crunches a sample workout for instance could be okay day one i want to do bench press yeah so day one we can say okay chest and shoulders so let's do bench press probably do lateral raises right awesome and then for arms triceps deep will do you can decide to add two workouts per category standing bent over barbell row right so this is what day one workout can look like so let's say you're hitting the gym you get to do bench press dumbbell flies triceps deep seated row lateral raises standing bent over row that's your day one splits and then you just walk out of the gym feeling all fly and you come back two days after for day two you have to work out your legs your back and abdominals now let's select day two workouts Just throw in an elbow plank there, maybe one or two minutes plank, broken down into 30 seconds per set. With this, now you can decide, yeah, day one, day two, and then you can decide to repeat this every week, guys. I don't know why I'm being all dramatic, but it is what it is. Just make sure that you are targeting each of these muscle groups at least once. Please take a screenshot if you need to. There is no one workout that works only one specific set of muscle groups. A workout as simple as squat basically works your hamstrings, works your quadriceps, works your glutes, and you'll be shocked that it works your back and your abdominals at the same time. Part of what research says is it's always good to switch things up every four to six weeks so that your body doesn't just go into that comfort zone where it's play to and you're not seeing any progress. Most people will say three reps, but the honest truth is I don't do three reps. I stick to two reps when I'm in the gym. It's a lifestyle for me. I've said this in some of my other videos. But if I perceive it as a time-consuming activity, then it, it, it just won't work for me. So I try to keep it to 30 to 45 minutes max. So that's why I stick to like two sets per session. Everyone is different. So just do what works for you. You could go as far as three sets if you want, as long as it works for you. Who am I? to tell you what to do. These strength training workouts are not limited to you going to the gym to lift weights. Your body weight alone can serve as enough weight for you to do a strength training workout. For instance, if you look at, let me say, an exercise under arms, triceps deep doesn't necessarily need you to lift weights you just need a seat so it's an exercise that you can do at home so don't think that because you maybe don't have an active gym membership at the moment that you cannot benefit from these workouts please if you run through the sample exercises i gave to you the truth is that you are going to be able to select those workouts that don't necessarily need any form of equipment and just create a plan that works for you remember that warm up and cool down are non-negotiable <laughs> like <laughs> if you want to exercise experience the craziest aches and pains at the end of your workout don't even bother stretching after you're done <laughs> you come back and tell me how you feel about it maybe five ten minutes after your workout to so stretch it out and just ease off the lactic acid that accumulates in your muscles when you're working out so that the dumps doesn't take effect there's nothing like hacking something as a beginner you know that makes you feel like <laughs> you are a pro and nobody can get you thanks so much for sticking around up until this point i'll see you in the next video guys bye